What the heck are we doing on a chairlift in the summer? That. A little bit of that. We're gonna do that. <laughs> We can find out together <laughs> I finally get my drive-by pie! So I think it's called drive-by pie. Yeah. You just gotta slow down to five miles an hour, I, throw your pie to you. I saw this place when I was looking for restaurants in the area when we first got here. And I'm like, I want drive-by pie. They do one flavor for the drive-by, otherwise you got to buy a whole pie. Which we're, we did. We're thinking about buying a, a No, we already ordered it. Eva ordered it. Oh, you ordered it? Yes, blueberry. Well. <laughs> there's a there's a sad part to it. Because in, online it says wild Maine blueberry pie. Uh -huh. She said that they're out of the Maine blueberries, which is a bummer. I think it's down this alley. Let's go oh. down the alley for some pie. It's called alley pie. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sure. that say pie right there? Yeah. Drive by pie. I'm so excited. It's right here. This is it. See? Order oh, here. here. Yay! Can you call that number? Thursday, Friday, Thursday seven. Saturday, 7 p.m. There's a bell or something. There's, There's a bell, but we'll call. I got cash. Hi, this is Tara. We're here for our pie. I'll be right there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're not Tara. <laughs> Wait a minute. Drive-by pie was awesome, but the lady there asked us nicely to not film her. So we did our best to try to capture the experience without capturing her. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're kind of joking around about the no pictures and all of that. Not everybody wants to have their life filmed and put out there for the world to see. First thing I'm gonna do when I'm in the witness protection program is open a pie shop, drive-by <laughs> only. Yes. There are a lot of people in witness protection, just saying. Yeah. Look, there it is. We're not going to eat it yet because we're going to do some mini bowling. We have to take a peek. Are you ready? Oh, that looks good. Oh, you guys want to take a look, see? Oh, yeah. Dan, are you excited? Oh, yeah. You might remember us showing the bowling alley in part one, but well, we went there and tried it out. You get a playing card in the arcade that you put money on, and then it works for the bowling and for the arcade games. Dan. <laughs> Poor Dan, who is a super athletic guy, right? He could not get this particular mini bowling game down. <laughs> you, got, you got to the gutter fast. The mini bowling is not different. regular bowling. Yeah. It's light and the pins are attached to strings and it's not the same. And he it's was still fun. It was fun. But, it, but he was winging those things down, I think, way too hard. <laughs> One time, the cameras were not rolling. Oh, I wish we would have caught that. And his ball skipped like two, two, lanes. two or three lanes down. <laughs> And we missed that one, so that was pretty funny. And then another couple times, because the pins are on strings, they got tangled up. Oh, yeah. And we had to call for help, and then they had to untangle them. Dan smashed them so hard, <laughs> they got spun up. <laughs> but it was still a really fun experience. And you can get some drinks from the bar and take them inside if you want to. It was just a, a fun thing, and it's right there at the RV park. Yeah, that place is awesome. Mm -hmm. Go get peanut. Oh my goodness. 
I got somebody's attention now. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, good job. <laughs> good job, guys. Cut that pie. Pie. Okay. RV life, not prepared for pies. That's right. Oh, that was pretty good. Bye. Good. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't see it's so bright. It's so bright. It's a sad day because Dan and Eva are leaving for the weekend. And when they get back, we're going to be gone. We are going to walk over and say goodbye to them and to Peanut. And we thought we need to show you their RV because they have a momentum. They have the 399 mm -hmm. TH and yeah. that's the one with the two patios. There are some differences from our RV to theirs and we thought we would show you yeah. before they leave. Daisy's excited to see Peanut. Hi. Hi. Peanut. Dan and Eva's momentum is a 2019 399 TH. So the big difference there is the second patio. Yeah, the side patio is awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know you. I know you. Hi. You're greeting us like we have been gone forever. Oh, hi, guys. It's just cute puppies. That's all we're filming. What? <laughs> hey, you wanted to come see Peanut. You're here. <laughs> One of the main questions we get asked about this model is the side patio. It's awesome, but do they have an issue with finding campsites to fit or have they ever had problems with, you know, not being able to put out the patio? And that's what I want to ask you guys. <laughs> so now we make sure that we check through Google mm -hmm. usually and make sure that we can get into that spot. So we haven't had a problem. You measure. Every, yeah, we yeah. measure, but every campsite we've been at, we've been able to put it down. Okay. There was one that was a kind of a tight fit, but you just move forward or back mm -hmm. and we're able to do it. I think that's the same with us too when it comes to the back patio and being able to put it down. We always check the size of the sites and make sure that we're gonna fit. Maybe in the four years that we've been in it, we've had one or two, but it's awesome. It does just extend the whole living area out there. I see you made your own workstation here. You had the dinette. Yes, yes, we had a dinette. You took the dinette out and just put your own desk in there. That's nice. I that like fits it. perfect. Mm -hmm. And you got a great view of your neighbors over there. I know. We have some wonderful neighbors. <laughs> Why do you guys have so many bugs in your 399? Can't, can't even escape it in here. At the time, we thought they were cicadas making all those noises, but I think that they were actually grasshoppers. Our friends Scott and Christina said that they were grasshoppers. So I don't know. We called them cicadas. We weren't sure what they were. Those suckers were noisy. Stupid bug. <laughs> The island does seem bigger than ours, doesn't it? It's it is. longer. It's much mm -hmm. bigger than ours. Their island is a little <laughs> bit bigger than ours. They have two sets of drawers, which we do not have. We just have one set. Ours ends right about here. And then I like your window here. Very nice. These curtains are nice. Still lets that's the light all, in. That's all about the same size, I think. Mm -hmm. Same fridge. Yeah, I think this is the same. Uh, we have the same room here. Because the bottom <laughs> half we don't have. Oh, oh, yeah. We lose the bottom half. Yes. You do, yeah. It's much more organized than ours is right now. You see you got these containers. Yeah, I like those. I like those. They seal nicely. Now we put the little spice racks on the shelves. So Instead of on, on the, the door, door, they put yeah. them here, which is which is good too. I like that. Is that deep? Or no, it, oh, it's okay. not. Very, it's just about as deep as I yeah. gotcha. Yeah, because that's our. That's the half bath. The half bath. Oh, gotcha. Bath. Okay, this is their garage. How big is your garage? Do you know? Yeah. Looks, looks about the same it size as ours. It's about the same size as ours. Dan's workstation's not quite as fancy as Eva's workstation. <laughs> Dan gets the kitty table. <laughs> so not only do you get the bikes in here and all of the stuff that's already in here, but you also get your dirt bikes and some other things. I want to show everybody how much storage you have in here. They haul a ton of stuff in their garage when they travel. They have both of their dirt bikes. Yep. Also, they have... Mountain bikes. The big water cooler. Oh, that's right. They have a the big water They've cooler. They've got kayak now. So their garage is packed full on travel days. Let us know what you travel with in your toy hauler. They have a half bath instead of the shower, but the actual toilet and sink part seems to be a little bit more user friendly than ours. Yeah. Because ours is kind of a weird, awkward angle. They have a window in their in their bathroom, so it makes it nice. I think for us, all we need is a half bath. We don't need a shower. We would rather have that as storage. What do you guys think about the half bath? Do you want 
half bath or do you want a full second bath in the garage? Having that patio does really open it up in here. Yeah, it gets bright when that's open. This is all, all the same, really the same size, everything. Another difference is the layout of the bedroom. We have the east-west facing bed. They have the north-south facing bed. And we opted for the queen instead of the king. And I love the paper that you put on the backsplash there. That's so pretty. I like the pop of color in there. Look at Peanut's bed over there. No, Peanut sleeps on a nightstand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your bed is up so <laughs> much oh, higher. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. You gotta like, you gotta have a running start to we get up We have to jump to get up there. Yeah. So. If this was a king, I think it's this side that would really have no room, yeah. right? Yeah, it's okay. like hardly anything. And then now I see you guys have two doors to get into the bathroom. So this one pretty much is always shut. We open it for travel days to secure it, mm -hmm. but then we leave it shut. And even on this side, you could have a medicine cabinet or some kind yeah. of shelving, which well, a lot of yeah, units do, and we don't have that. Yeah. The only time we have opened it is if we have guests, which is very rare. And then you can um, close this off and mm -hmm. then go and close this and then have it. But Take a shower I think and go and dress without coming, coming out. Coming out. Yeah. That's, but that's the only advantage. When we were looking at the momentums, we did have it narrow down to the 397 and the 399. I love the side patio. I love how open it feels. The main reason we chose the 397 was when we're traveling, when you have the slides in, for us, we can get to the refrigerator and the bathroom in the bedroom. You guys can't get no. to any of it. You can't get to any of it, right? Because here's your slide, part. right? Comes all the way in. And here's your slide here. So this is... That's open, but then that slide covers where the status the stairs are, right? are. You have to put out a slide to get to the bathroom. Now we have the back bathroom, mm -hmm. but when we show you how packed it is on travel day, we can't get you to can't that get by either. all the bikes and stuff, yeah, right? Right. All the so toys. then you have to either find a space where you can put your slides out, so you can eat your own food and use your own restroom, or you have to go inside and use the facilities, right? Yes. Yes. See, I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that. When you're shopping for RVs, there's like, okay, I want to take this feature from this RV and this feature mm -hmm. and put everything together and make it your perfect RV. It just seems like you kind of have to give and take a little bit. Yeah. Yes. And for us, we decided that we would get, not go with the side patio and kind of lose that open feeling. And it's worked out great for us. And you guys love yours, right? Yes. Does yes. it feel more open because we took the stuff down to you? Uh, so what he's talking yeah, about yeah, they is took they down took all the, the balances the down, which is nice. Um, yeah, I think so. But I mean, I'm just like us. We both have like the whole slide full of windows, which yeah. no matter what side it's on, it opens up the whole inside space. It does make it a little bit brighter and the windows seem bigger in here without it. The door itself looks to be about the same size. Yeah, but see where... Oh, it just stops. Yeah, it just stops. So that's one really nice feature you guys have. It's going all the way through. Yeah, that pass through with the slides and stuff. We also got back over to Winter Park, this time with the intention of checking it out and doing some fun stuff. Yeah, you've probably heard of Winter Park, Colorado, more for skiing, because that I think is what it's predominantly known for, but there are a ton of activities for the summertime as well. We ended up getting a day pass so we could do multiple activities. Winter Park is the longest continually operated ski resort in Colorado and has over 3,000 acres. Wow. In the winter, you can ski, but you can also do some tubing, sledding, cross-country skiing, snowmobiling, dog sledding, cart rides, gosh, snowshoeing. And you can do these like fat tires or ski biking. Up which, snow? Yeah, which seems pretty cool. Not for me. I saw it on the, why not? <laughs> I don't know. You're always up for adventure. I, I can't believe you said that. I don't think I would, I think I would slide all over the I'll place. show you the pictures. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If I say I would do it, I'd... That would probably not. I would. Come on. Now we're just trying to figure out where we're supposed to go There's to get our wristbands. Pads. I don't know if that cuts through. There's a directory right up here. It's a beautiful day. It is. It sure. says 68, but I think it's like 72. It should have worked shorts. As we climb up, it'll get cooler. I'm assuming down here I see tickets. Yeah. A 
severe allergic reaction is possible as a result of a relatively minor scrape suffered on the alpine side. We need a second GoPro, like either wristband or mount or something for me. Because you remember that one time we ziplined and you had the only camera running and you forgot to hit record <laughs> on the world's longest zipline? Lies. Yeah, you did that. Lies. You did that. Lies. You. We're on the gondola. Gondola. Ooh. Oh, hey, we're taking off. <laughs> <laughs> Going pretty fast. Here. Show here. Wow, are we up high or what, guys? Wow, this is nice. Wowzers. Oh, look over here. Look at these runs over here. Nice. But I think we're getting ready to get off up here. Yeah, it's right here. Oh. In the summer months, they have all these mountain bike trails and these hardcore mountain bikers come up here on the chairlift. They bike all the way down. I gotta find out some stats and figure out how high up we are and how high we climbed on that gondola. When you come, I'll go. You get me wondering this is pretty cool. I'm really digging how pretty the flowers are. Wondering, and you've kept me wondering if it's worth wondering, and you've kept me wondering if it's worth wondering. Trails, the bike trails and stuff down. Oh, yeah. Down there. Quite a complex oh, wow. system. In waters down the time, like sea glass tumbling. So, this is not the lift that you take for the alpine side. This is a different lift. Some of them are for bikes, so that right there, that's a bike lift. Yeah. And you decide when you come or go. You can hike all that. So this goes all the way down to the resort base. Yep. Had I known that there was hiking up here, I would have dressed appropriately. It stinks. I would have liked to have hiked. And you've kept me wondering if it's worth wondering. And you've kept me pretty cool up here. If it's worth wondering. And you've kept going down. Really up there. I know. Lots to do up there. Yeah, if we had more time, I would say let's come back. But do you have to? I guess you could just pay for the gondola ride to come up. Yeah. Whoa! Take oh. <laughs> the landing. This looks like fun. Yeah, it's something different. This is a 12 minute ride. Does? Yeah. She's going so slow. <laughs> Riding that brake. Like she got a traffic jam up behind her. Traffic jam. At least it's near the bottom. Just like a two lane highway with an RV, that lady was backing everybody up. Yeah. I'm not this kid. No. <laughs> oh yeah, I wish these things had speedometers. Oh, look at this guy. I don't think I'm gonna be riding the brake the whole time, but... 
I feel I feel uh, very vulnerable without that bar. Follow the arrows quickly. It's fairly simple, I guess. To move forward, mm -hmm. you push it forward. Yeah. Stop or slow you push down. up on the, you push up on the wheels. Get up on those on the wheels. Oh, the handle. Push them down. It's the handle. Yeah. You want to turn that hat around backwards for me? Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right, you both can go. Have fun. You must be going kind of slow. <laughs> Where the heck is she? <laughs> is that fun? Yeah, but I didn't stop fast enough. I didn't stop fast enough. Do I get out here? Yeah, you got somebody coming behind you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I stopped too soon. <laughs> Sorry about that. What do you think? I thought it was fun and I barely used my brake. I Except pushed, uh, when that little squirrel came running right in front of me. <laughs> the lady wouldn't let me hit record on this when I left. She said it wasn't allowed. I got going pretty fast. I was pushing down most of the time. I was pushing down most of the time, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I think it's fun. I'm glad we did it. I don't need to do it again. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but there was like a big beaver or something. Might have oh. been your squirrel. It went by kind of fast. It was a, it was a chunky squirrel. But that, it that, ran yeah, was probably right it. in front of my sled. That, that squirrel was almost... Almost uh, roadkill. Roadkill. Sled Would that kill. be a sled, sled kill? Right over here is the ropes course that's also included in the all-day fun pass. Yeah, that that ropes sense. course, I think, is really meant for kids. You're not up high. It's not yeah. scary. Okay, I gotta say, this ropes course looks a little lame. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'm not familiar with ropes courses, so. Ropes courses, but usually they're much higher. I think this is more for children. Uh, maybe so. How was that alpine flight compared to the Gatlinburg one? That was much longer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, I haven't been on the on the one since I was a little kid. You don't remember? Well, I was probably a teenager, yeah. but everything's bigger when you're a kid, and it seems smaller. So I'm I'm gonna lean towards this. You're much longer. bigger though. No. Hey. I mean, you're bigger. Hey. You're bigger. <laughs> You're a man now. Oh, okay. This looks like it would be a really cool resort to stay in to ski for sure. Yeah. I got some nice, mm. well, I guess I need my sunglasses. That's why That's why I'm squinting. Got some nice comfy lounge chairs here to have some coffee sort of people comfy. watch. That's it for this one. Next up, Creed, Colorado. Oh, we have a blast with more friends. Mm -hmm. See you then. I don't know if we're not allowed to stay. I'm not sure what all these things mean. Don't stand in reach. Don't stand casually on the door. Don't lean on the door. Don't stick your knee in the door or your arm. Okay. Don't, oh. don't give a lap dance. Don't give a lap dance. <laughs> no. no, no, no uh, ballroom dancing. Get the camera, get the camera. Get the camera, she says. Get the camera. Don't be nervous if there's a camera on you. <laughs> Hi. We're changing lanes. <laughs> this is our first video. <laughs> so it is. Yeah. So <laughs> we're lucky the windows are intact. That's all we knew. And they, they followed us around. I think they were moose. It might have been moose or elk. <laughs> Hippopotamus? You get that joke if you get that joke. Can he do it? Can he go back to his strike ways? 
Nope. Ha, 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 ha.